Americans United for Life presents The Con. Recently, we've heard a lot about the contraception mandate, but the Obama administration has worked hard to put the con in contraception. This isn't about birth control. It's about government control. It's about mandating coverage for abortion-causing drugs. It's about them telling you that this abortion-causing drug mandate must be paid for by you, your family, your faith-based organization, your company. It's about your First Amendment freedoms. The Obama administration wants us to ante up while it tries to trump the First Amendment's guaranteed freedom of religion. It's a right of conscience issue, whether you're religious or not. Thomas Jefferson once wrote, no provision in our constitution ought to be dearer to man that which protects the rights of conscience against the enterprises of the civil authority. Yet under the mandate, Americans have to purchase health insurance and this insurance has to include coverage for abortion causing drugs. Conflicted yet? We also accepted a recommendation from the experts at the Institute of Medicine. Uh, by experts, he means a confab of abortion advocates. You know, the ones who concocted the stats behind the mandate. That when it comes to women, preventive care should include coverage of contraceptive services such as birth control. They're forcing us to pay for Ella, a drug that can end pregnancy. In the end, we will all pay for abortion regardless of our conscience. Americans United for Life believes all health care should sustain life, not provide life-ending mandates that contradict our rights. The government wants control of our conscience, our beliefs, our First Amendment freedoms. The Constitution protects all of us from governmental intrusion on our lives. That control is in your hands. Don't be conned. Get the facts.